Now, from London to New York to Paris to Vienna, thousands of people have in fact taken to the streets to condemn Russia's growing military aggression in Ukraine. Demonstrations have ranged from loud protests to symbolic and subtle ones. Let's start with how people in New York staged a protest. The people gathered at the Times Square to protest Russia's invasion into Ukraine. The demonstrators held up anti-Putin slogans to denounce Moscow of its military maneuvers in Eastern Europe. We are Ukrainians living in New York and we are desperate to ask people to help Ukraine to fight because they are just alone. They are supporting but actually not supporting. We want real support country because they are weak, it's a small country, we never wanted war and we have our relatives, our mothers, children and grandchildren there. Meanwhile, in London, hundreds of demonstrations rallied outside of the Russian embassy on Saturday to condemn Moscow's military attack. The protesters also chanted pro-Ukraine slogans and waved the Ukrainian flags to express their solidarity with the country. In the former Soviet Republic of Georgia, thousands of protesters hit the streets of the capital city of Tbilisi to support Ukraine as fighting is continued across the country. The Georgia like Ukraine is also facing a Russia-backed separatist movement. The separatist movement was intensified following a brief war that Russia waged on the tiny nation of Georgia back in 2008. The Moscow-backed forces have since managed to hold on to regions such as South Ossetia and Abkhazia. I'm here to support Ukraine and their people who are right now fighting a war versus Vladimir Putin and versus Russia. And secondly, I'm going to protest the regime of Vladimir Putin and Russia. Uh, I want Ukrainians to know that we are here, all of these people are with them, and Slava Ukraine. Meanwhile, thousands of protesters marched through Vienna on Saturday to demonstrate against Russia's attacks on Ukraine. The protesters also demanded for an immediate end to Russia's military assault and immediate ceasefire. The demonstration in the Austrian capital coincided with the other shows of solidarity for Ukraine in other European cities like London and Berlin. Meanwhile, in France, hundreds of people took to the streets of Paris to show their support for Ukraine. The demonstrators gathered in the French capital's Republic Square, waving flags and banners. The protests came as Russian troops closed in on Ukraine's capital, Kiev, as a number of skirmishes were reported across the country. Meanwhile, interestingly, in the state of Israel, thousands of protesters also flocked to the Habima Square in central Tel Aviv to condemn the Russian attack. According to reports, about 10,000 protesters joined these protests that were organized by a group called Israeli Friends of Ukraine. It was one of the largest protests that has been witnessed in the state of Israel. And dozens of protesters dressed up in bridal costumes gathered outside of the Russian embassy in Mexico City on Saturday to call out against Putin's military actions. They held up Ukrainian flags and other signs to show their solidarity with the nation. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.